everyone, it's Desiree. Day 20, just five more days left. You know, it's a stressful series to put through, but I do so enjoy it, and I hope you're all enjoying it as much as I am. So for day 20, I am featuring this awesome stamp set by Woodware Craft Collection. It's designed by Jane Gill, and there is a lot you can do with this. And I have to admit, when I looked at it, I was gonna go in one realm. I was gonna pull out my colored pencils and just have fun coloring these baubles set inside this ornament. And know that there is more than this just than this one image. There are many images. But then I, you know, I went on YouTube one night and I typed this in and oh wow, I was so inspired by so many other creators with this. So I'm using my Distress Oxide in Ground Espresso. I seem to be using that a lot through the series. And I'm then going to come in with the Wow Clear Matte Embossing Powder. I didn't want it to have a gloss. I wanted it to have a very dull matte look to it when it came to the embossing. Now, what I'm also learning with this is it's not a super gloss, but there is some sheen there. Um, but I do like the way that it, it goes back. It's not that super shiny gloss that we usually do look for in our or on our cards. So I use the oxide and because it's that pigment dye ink, I have time to come in with an embossing powder. Now, by all means, use what you have. Use your clear, you know, use your white or whatever color that you have and have fun with it. So I kind of met in the middle. I still wanted to pull in some colored pencils because that bow, that bow just looked gorgeous and that is what it needed. So I pulled out my Prismacolors and I went with shades of red. I went with a carmine and a scarlet and a crimson and then that deep dark, that scary dark. Now you could come in with black, you could come in with indigo. <clears throat> I'm actually going to come in with a black raspberry. When I use my colored pencils, you've seen in my previous videos when I speak on this, I like to put the lightest color down first that I'm using and just color the entire image. That's the beauty of colored pencils. You can do that with an area. I then come in with the next darkest from that lightest and I'm going in and putting in big shadows because these are going to come out further. So I'm identifying where I want these shadows to go. Now I do not, my true focus is not on a light source, but I have an understanding in my brain that the light's coming from the right. It's just something that I always do. It never comes in from any other angle. It always comes in from the right. So to just see that, I, I kind of keep that in my mind. But I go with what I like, where I want those shadows, where I want these folds to sit on this bow. We've got a lot of, it's a big, beautiful bow. It's got a lot of folds. These lines that are within the bow can help you say, okay, I want this to be darker. This is where it's gonna fold in. It's gonna look like it's curving inside. Once I'm done with that second layer, now I'm gonna come in with my third layer. And you can see it's a popular color with me. Um, and again, just really defining those areas. Now, I could also make it the same size as that second layer. Again, my eye is, is just guiding me to say, okay, you know what? I really like this color. I want to see more of this color. That second one really didn't do it for me. So I may take that second color and make it my blending. And you'll see that as we continue through. So I really wanted this third shade, this Crimson Lake, to really kind of add the depth to really start those crevices, to start those folds and the way that this was coming in. I am now coming in with that second color that I had and I'm blending that. I'm blending that over the lightest shade and that third shade that I had and just pulling over. I'm always using a light hand because I want to add layers. I want to keep going 
till I get this final look. The Scary Dark has now come in, and this is a dark black raspberry. It's um, a very deep red brown. It's got more red to it, okay, but there is a brown hint to it, and I'm really hitting right up along those lines, right up along those stamped lines that I have. I'm coming in, even where the lightest shade is, I'm bringing in that darker color. Just adding in and creating that depth. I'm then coming in with my third shade again and just going over this lightly. The bow, it's, it's where I want it to be, but I really want this to have some depth to it. So my darker shades, my fourth, that scary dark, and that third is really gonna take over. And you can just see what that looks like. I do take a brush over that. I don't like to swipe across it because I could smear something. Um, so a, a big brush, a mop brush works perfectly for that. So now I'm going to color in. I should have stayed zoom in. So I zoomed in. So I apologize. So I'm coming in with one of my emboss it pens and this is the bullet nib and I filled in the uh, top of the ornament and I'm using my gold embossing powder by Recollections. Here is where the fun comes in. If you collect the Nouveau drops or the stickles or if you have the Open Studio uh, fairy sugars, yeah, I'm, I'm very cautious making sure none will explode again. I'm just saying we do a lot of testing. Sequins, this is perfect. So many creators did some beautiful things. And for the largest circles, I used my huge, I have these really big iridescent clear sequins. So they went down first. Now with all of this that I'm going to put on top of the card, Des actually thought and said, okay, I need to get my layers on and I need to get this onto my card panel because there's gonna be a lot of drops going on here and I knew I would just smudge them away. So I used a lime green, I forget exactly, I think it's like a spring green uh, from Tonic Studios Mirror Cardstock. I cut out the center just to save some because I think they are precious. And I used my uh, Uline two inch film double-sided tape. I think it is great because there is gonna be moisture that goes on this card with all of the drops. So I didn't want it to warp. And that tape does stop the warping. For me, that is what I find. So I just did a little bit of trim. I went off with adding it because that tape is not forgiving. Absolutely not forgiving. And you can see, see, I, oh, I would have had another explosion. So what I am finding with the fairy sugars is if you haven't used them in a while, they will clump up at the top. Test your drops first. And if you're wondering why, please watch day 15. And you'll see. I stopped the video, give you a warning, and you will see. So I went in with another size. This is a beautiful teal color. Um, it's called Tropical Glimmer. And I'm just filling it in. I'm not looking for it to be domed uh, or anything else, but this is a great white. Now you could also use glue and glitter would be absolutely beautiful. If you are a glitter lover, that loose fine glitter, get your glue out, your liquid adhesive and have fun with this. I just really enjoyed this. Um, it was just really unique. I had a great time with it. And you know what? It made me dig into my stash with all of these, with the glitters that we collect. I love the stickles and I love the Nouveau drops. But, you know, you guys have seen my videos. You know, sometimes I don't, you know, pull them out. We forget about them. Sequins are easier. Gems are easier. Uh, but these do wonderful and beautiful things. This here is my stickles and it's simply called lavender. So I used that for the really small dots all throughout the ornament. And you can see I'm constantly testing them. Oh, always test them. And don't, you know, I am even surprised I had my image really close. I'm just saying. I also pulled in some uh, liquid, let's see here, what were these called? These are called crystal stickles. So they're like an iridescent clear. These are my favorite, Nouveau Dream. If you are a fan of the drops, I am a fan of these Nouveau Dream 
drops. They are just absolutely gorgeous. They have an iridescent tone to them. And this is called Dragon Scales. Um, they stay really liquid. Um, they keep their shape. So it's not like the other ones where we've got to warm them up. Um, these are just, they hang right in there. I've also pulled in some liquid pearls in platinum, and I'm going to put a drop of that in the middle of the sequins. You're adding dimension, you're adding texture to such a simplistic ornament, but what a beautiful result. There was no sentiment that was going to go on top of this because all of that glitter and shimmer needs to shine. So I do hope you enjoyed day 20. And again, we featured Woodware Craft Collection stamps. And again, there is more than just that one. As always, the products that I used will be linked down below. If they are not available, don't be upset. Remember, this is the year to dig into your stash. Use what you have with the techniques that I have shown. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, stay tuned for day 21, and remember, always enjoy this process, have fun. I will always tell you this, each and every one of you, you each create unique art when we are always, always being creative. See you in day 21. Take care.